Hello, I am Donita Brown, Children's Librarian at the Ardmore Library. I am here today to talk about Kamigami Robots. Here is Lena the Ladybug. Here is Bakken, the Grasshopper. And here is Scarex, the Scorpion. Ardmore Library is going to have many of these Kamigami robots available to check out for one week. So I am making this video so that everyone can learn how to use them when they take them home. One thing that you have to have when you take home a Kamigami robot is the Kamigami app. On my tablet, this is an iPad mini, I went to the app store and I typed in Kamigami Robot, and I got several different choices, but this is the one I was looking for. It says, Kamigami Controller app for the Kamigami Robots. So I downloaded this app, and when I opened it up, this is the screen I got. It says, tap to begin, so let's tap it and you can see where it tells you, you have to turn on the red button. On each of the robots, there is a red button on the bottom. Let's turn on Lena, the ladybug. When you push the button, it, she lights up. Now, Normally, you would get a screen that has just the legs and the body without an actual robot. And you would tap on that once you've turned it on, and it asks you which robot you're connecting to. This one has already been connected to, so we have Lena. And so I'm connecting, and there we have the different things you can do with your robot. Run, dance, tag, battle, and code. There's lots of different fun things that you can do with your robot. And then when you're done playing with the robot, there's a little power button down here. You touch that right here and it says turn off robot or disconnect. So I'm disconnecting the robot and it tells me I need to go to the bottom to the red button and hold that button in three seconds and it will turn off the robot. So that is how you play with a Kamigami robot. Now I've invited my grandchildren to show how you play with what you do with Kamigami robots. So next we'll have Ivy who's going to explain the, some of the things I talked about already. And we have Hazel, who's going to show you how she uses her Kamigami robot. So enjoy and come to the Ardmore Library and check them out. Bye-bye. This is Ivy Hancock. She is going to show us how you turn on your Kamigami robot. So first, under here, there's a little red button. You tap it once to turn it on and hold it to turn it off. So once you got it on, on the app, if you have it, you tap. Tap to begin. It will say an unknown if you're just connecting it. Click on that. And you find what bug it is. You click on that. And you can name it different names. There's all different types of stuff. There's run, dance, tag, battle, and code. And there's even achievements to see how many my idols you've ran. Once you've got your robot or Kamigami connected, you see there's all these different things. But at the bottom, there's code. And like, look, this is what I did previously. And it can change colors. So if you don't like your code and you want to get rid of it really fast, you try, um, clear the code with the track button. So here it has all the moves you can do 
you can spin around, go backwards or forwards, do it a lot or do it um, a little. But then we have lights. You can put it on to change your light. So you tap in the middle and drag it onto the block. And once you run the code, once you're done, you tap the green button to do your code. And if you don't like it, you um hold it again and put it in the trash bucket that will appear. But then the last part is that there's sounds. So like this is a music sound that does this. And then there's um a blaster. Does it real quick. There's the bell. And there's the whistle. And you can do all those sounds, have moves, lights, and sounds. And that's how you code. Now that you've learned to how to code it, there's different ones. We already showed you the achievements. So there's run. When you click on it, this is where you move it forward, backwards, spin it, different ways. And here are like some previously coded things. So if this thing you can change the color. And then this, these two you can, if you tap it, it goes slow and then fast. And this just goes fast. Like the creators of Kamigami already put some previously coded stuff. So there's run, then there's dance. There's all these crazy dances. Then this one is really crazy. It goes round and round. There's a lot of room for that one. And you can do this one. Ivy, why don't you show us how you disconnect that robot and do a different robot? Okay, so I just got an achievement. It will look like this when you get your achievements and you press OK. Okay, so if I don't like this robot anymore, I press the power button and press disconnect robot. Then I turn this on off so it doesn't lose battery. Hold it for three seconds. Then if I want another one, I can get out. And then I turn it on. And it already shows the unknown, like I showed you before. Click on this. It may take a while. Choose that icon. And then like um so they can all do the same things. It's just like the skin, sort of. It doesn't really matter what robot you have. There's tag that, like, you can run and get the other ones, and you can press the suit button that if you hit one of them with it, they're it, and they have the tag. This is Hazel. She is a master Kamigami robot. She's going to explain how she plays with hers. Can you show us what it can do? Then, this is another one. This is the last one in dance. 